Well, the congressional hearing into Russia and any association with President Trump is picking up steam this morning. Our Matt McCutcheon is here to make sense of the finger pointing, explain what really lies ahead here. Good morning, Matt. Ben and Julia, good morning. This hearing is really about Russia hacking into the 2016 election, but it's these two people right here that you see who are making headlines today. Now, if you don't have any idea who these people are, Here's why they're important. Michael Flynn right here is under fire and is part of the investigation for his ties to Russia. Sally Yates right here, yeah, she's coming forward saying she alerted the Trump administration to his past, a move she says fell on deaf ears. Yates testified about that Monday during a congressional hearing. She's the former acting attorney general, a brief Obama administration holdover later removed by President Trump. Meanwhile, Flynn's past also stretches back to former President Obama, who fired him from his post as head of the Defense Intelligence Agency in 2014, but kept his security clearance in place. Flynn became a key advisor to President Trump, who would later name him National Security Advisor, and then fire him a few weeks later in a cloud of controversy related to his contacts in dealings with Russia. Yates says those alleged ties are something she alerted key personnel to in the White House. We told him we felt like the vice president and others were entitled to know that the information that they were conveying to the American people wasn't true. And we wanted to make it really clear right out of the gate that we were not accusing Vice President Pence of knowingly providing false information to the American people. Now to show you how under the microscope things are, even dinner is up for discussion. One in particular right there because NBC News reports Flynn never revealed he had nearly taken nearly $34,000 from Russian state media to speak at that dinner in Moscow. Now, of course, this is all just one layer of this investigation. It's not all about Yates and Flynn, but this actually is expected to go until the fall when you look at additional hearing or testimony mm -hmm. as well as all the evidence they have to look at as well. Matt, I'm guessing the president has responded. What, what is he saying about this whole ordeal? You can probably bet where he took that to, Twitter. He's uh -huh. putting a lot out there overnight talking about, you know, this is a hoax, this is a charade, and calling it fake news. So he has a lot to say about this as well. We've posted that for you on WTHR.com. All right, Matt, thanks.